Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to tomorrow. Coming up, we're going to be discussing the third launch of Blue Origin's new Shepard vehicle and why you should care about it. This is your Space Pod for April 6th, 2016. So in a nice change of pace, Amazon.com and Blue Origin CEO Jeff Bezos actually gave prior notice as to when their next rocket launch would be. And although it was only one day's notice, it was still nice to see something a little bit more specific than we'll be launching sometime soon. And they didn't live stream the launch, but Jeff Bezos did tweets during the launch and gave live updates as to what the performance of the vehicle was during its flight. New Shepard was launched on Saturday, April 2nd at around 1500 coordinated universal time. The rocket performed as expected and Blue Origin was even able to fly to a slightly higher altitude, reaching an apogee of 103.4 kilometers, just above the Von Karman line used as the boundary of space. The last flight they did, they got up to 101.7 kilometers. Also this time, the booster dived back towards the ground without propulsion, only restarting its BE-3 engine at an altitude of about 3,000 feet or 1.1 kilometers. Any problems with ignition or ramping up of the engine would have likely seen the booster destroyed. But it worked and the rocket landed safely. But so what? That's great that they were able to launch the same rocket and land it three times now. But why should you care? The answer is science. This flight carried two microgravity experiments, one from the Southwest Research Institute and the other from the University of Central Florida. And I think that the experiments as principal investigators explain them best. I'm Dan Durda from the Southwest Research Institute, and I'm really excited to be flying our Box of Rocks experiment, BOR, on the next flight of Blue Origin's new Shepard rocket. BOR is focused on better understanding the rocky soil on the surfaces of small near-Earth asteroids. We know so little about those little rocky worlds uh, at this point that even a simple experiment just to observe the jostling and the settling of rocky debris and microgravity can teach us a lot and it behooves us to better understand that environment. The New Shepard offers us a really interesting opportunity to get a few minutes of very clean microgravity on a suborbital space flight and I can't wait to go fly and see what the results of our experiment are. I'm Josh Caldwell, professor of physics at the University of Central Florida and the chief investigator on the collisions into dust experiment. Our payload contains a bed of dust into which we will launch a marble at a very low speed. The reaction of the dust will be observed by a camera. We're hoping to understand collisions in the early solar system as well as collisions between planetary ring particles like Saturn's rings and places where gravity is very weak like the surfaces of asteroids or the small moons of Mars. The suborbital environment provided by New Shepard will enable us to see particles moving in conditions that cannot be duplicated on the ground. This experiment was built by students here at the University of Central Florida and we're thrilled at the opportunity to fly with Blue Origin. So this is pretty amazing. Suborbital science has been a goal for a long time, especially over the past decade, and Blue Origin has just beaten their competitors, Virgin Galactic and Xcore Aerospace, by being able to fly these microgravity experiments now. And only more is going to take place on Blue Origin flights. They're even saying that commercial payloads might start flying this year. And once their test program is complete, then they're going to start flying people. And <laughs> I'm saving up already for my flight, although by the time I can afford it, hopefully the prices are way cheaper. And then again, they haven't even announced prices yet, so who knows. In any case, thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Michael Clark, and please leave us a comment and let us know what you think about this flight and the potential for more experiments to fly very soon. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be notified whenever we put out new videos, and also because it helps us grow. And we're also all over the internet, and we invite you to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, of course our website, tomorrow.tv, and there you can join the conversation with us and other space enthusiasts and, and ah, share in the excitement. This is a crowdfunded show through Patreon, and I'd like to give a huge shout out to all of our founders of Tomorrow, who are contributing $50 or more every month so that we can create this show. But I also want to thank our architects, engineers, ambassadors, and dreamers of Tomorrow, whose continued support allows us to continue making these space pots. Thank you so much to all of you. And if you would like to learn more about helping us out, then please visit patreon.com spacepod. 
And again, thank you very much for watching this video, and hopefully you know just a little bit more today than you did yesterday, thanks to tomorrow. Keep moving onwards and upwards, everybody, and I will see you in the future.